Hi, I'm Nate Martin from 99bitcoins.com, and here's what's happened this week in Bitcoin in 99 seconds. Morgan Creek Digital's new crypto venture capital fund received investment from Virginian pension plans. The fund has raised $40 million, most of which for investment in promising crypto companies, though some portion will also be allocated to Bitcoin. A series of tweets by WikiLeaks denounced Craig Wright, the self-proclaimed inventor of Bitcoin, as a, quote, serial fabricator. WikiLeaks also presented documents which they say Wright forged to support his claim to be Satoshi Nakamoto. U.S. Bank, J.P. Morgan Chase & Company is releasing a permissioned stablecoin pegged to the U.S. dollar. The bank will trial JPM coin in the coming months, using it to transfer value between clients. Last year, JPM banned Bitcoin purchases through its credit cards, and JPM CEO Jamie Dimon bashed Bitcoin as a fraud. Details emerged that a trade deal between Argentina and Paraguay was settled in Bitcoin. Argentina exported $7,100 worth of fumigation and pesticide products to Paraguay, which was paid for in Bitcoin. Although the amount is small, the deal sets an interesting precedent for international trade. And finally, crypto broker CoinMama published information on a recent data breach. No user or company funds are directly affected. A list of email addresses and encrypted passwords belonging to around 450,000 CoinMama clients was discovered on the darknet. CoinMama was one of 24 other companies in the list. It's recommended that affected users change their password. That's what's happened this week in Bitcoin. See you next week.